By 2026, the field of data science will reach an estimated market of $25.9 billion, meaning that from now all the way to 2026, the field will grow every single year by 27%. This means that data science jobs will become even more appealing. In order to break into this field, a wide variety of knowledge is required. The way that most analysts demonstrate their skills is through projects. While doing research for this video, I came across a project that absolutely blew my mind. Gina Roge from MIT created a data analysis project that would detect whether or not a breast tumor was cancerous. Her process is the epitome of what makes a project strong. And in this video, I'm gonna walk you through it and show you how you can take those skills and incorporate them into resume projects of your own. Hey there everyone, I'm John. I've been working in data analytics of the auto industry for about the past three years. Throughout that time, I've gone through a lot of projects, both internally at the company and externally for candidates looking to come in. Throughout all of the projects that I've seen, there tends to be similar traits that emerge from the strong projects. Let's start out with what makes a project strong. All strong data science projects accomplish the following five principles. One, they demonstrate proficiency in a programming language. Doesn't matter what the language is, be it Python, R, Julia, they pick one and show that they know the language well. Two, they present clean, well-organized data. It doesn't necessarily matter where this data is obtained from. Great projects can obtain clean data just right off the bat. Some projects, on the other hand, take rough data and clean it themselves and document how they did it. Three, they will apply some sort of statistical analysis to their data and explain why specific values were chosen over others. Four, if it's a machine learning project, they will apply some sort of algorithm to their data and go through the reasons and methodologies of why specific algorithms were applied compared to others. And five, they will visualize their data clearly and tell a story with it. The tool set doesn't matter, Power BI, Tableau, or even custom made graphs. They'll pick the right application and present it in the proper way. And a project that I think does all of this incredibly well is Jean Naroge's breast cancer detection model. Gina Roge created a project that analyzed whether or not a tumor was cancerous or not by analyzing the data from fine needle aspiration tests. Gene's approach involved creating a machine learning model that would classify the physical attributes of the tumors and correlate them to the results of the FNA test. She obtained a dataset from my alma mater that contained roughly 30 various parameters surrounding these tumors. She then correlated these attributes to the results of the test, and voila, a machine learning dataset was born. So, she has proven that she has Python knowledge and has obtained a clean dataset. Now she needs to apply some sort of statistical analysis. Jean created a section in her documentation of what she called the exploratory data analysis. Throughout the process, she generated 20 plus graphs to visualize which features potentially had the biggest impact on the diagnosis of cancer. From these visuals and distributions, she was able to identify what features had the strongest impact on that diagnosis. These features now could potentially be weighted more in her machine learning model, which would classify whether or not a patient had cancer or not. It not only was a very interesting finding, but showed that she had a very strong understanding of the data set that she was working with. Statistical model, check. Now comes the fun part in my opinion, the machine learning model. Out of all of the models available, Jean decided to go with a support vector machine, or SVM for short. SVMs are used for sorting data into different groups, and in machine learning we call this a classification model. Imagine it like drawing a line to be able to separate apples from oranges in a basket. It's really good with working with data that has a lot of details and intricacies, and is a very good model for this specific type of data set. So what was the result of this? Through various fine tuning techniques, Jean showed that she was able to predict whether or not a cancer was tumorous with 95% accuracy. Pretty incredible stuff if you ask me. So what can you take away from this? There are so many data sets available online from like what Jean just showed. She didn't go off and collect this information herself, rather found it, cleaned it, and made it useful to herself. When creating projects like this, go to websites such as Kaggle to try and obtain a data set. Remember these five principles as you apply them across any type of project and present your results in a very clear, legible fashion. If you apply these principles, you're sure to stand out. Thank you all so much for watching. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe, and we'll see you in the next video. Take care, everyone.